Hi guys, it's Elmer, your fire protection guy. Welcome back to this channel. We're going to test the fire indicating panel or the fire alarm panel for a Brooks G3 system. So let's start. This is the Brooks G3 fire indicating panel. Before you start any uh, testing, you have to isolate first the alarm signal equipment. So that's the ASE. So using my key for the code red. Okay. So there you are. So it's X and then I want to isolate no or yes. So if I said if I press the button yes, that means it's isolated for 720 minutes. But I don't want that to be isolated. So let's clear that and then let's do it again. So we're going to do a we're going to leave it on a test mode. The second thing to do is isolate these buttons here. Okay, when you see yellow on the Brooks zone control, so first you have to isolate the shutter and then you isolate the sound. That is a sounder isolate for all the sounders inside the residential unit. And then you isolate the ancillary. Okay, the ancillary are the fan controls. All right, those are the fan controls. Sorry, this one, fan controls, this is the zone control. So that's the fan control. Right now in my video, you can see it blinking, but actually it's steady. In my, I don't know, my iPhone, when I'm doing my video, it's just, it's blinking in the video, but actually it's, it's steady in the actual, right? Okay, so now you can see the three disabled zone, 24, 23, and 22. And then the occupant warning system, it's on auto mode, okay? So when you do the testing, you press the menu, they asked you for a service personnel. Go to the service personnel, number two. So press number two. And then you're asking you for a password. Password will be two, 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 two. You pre keep on pressing two until it goes there, all right? And then you go to number eight, which is maintenance. So I press the button eight. And the cursor go to eight and then you press enter and it goes there and then what you're going to do is number six activate alarm address in alarm mode so you press number six and then you press enter it's asking you for a zone okay and an address this time we're going to use the black plan that's the black plan there Okay, we're going to use zero zero zone one zone number three okay so we type zero zero three that's zero zero three and zero one okay we have chosen address one of zone zero zero three so i got it from that floor plan so that's zone number three and I chose 01 address, which is the detector just in front of the fire panel. We're going to make announcement first before you do any tests. So manual mode PA and do the announcement. Your attention please, the fire system is on test. Please disregard all emergency warning, the fire system on test. And then put it to automatic. And then you still have that selected address to activate. Check again the ASE in the test mode, everything's isolated, and press that enter. All right, and then the alarm go off. Isolate the noise, okay, and then reset. We're going to reset. Press the silence alarm. If you don't press the silent alarm, okay, you press the reset, it will not do anything. Because that light should be steady before you can reset. So by pressing this, that will steady the light and then press the reset. All clear. 
okay so when you're done what you're going to do next is press escape 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 all right so you have the three disabled zones which are those zones and then press that press that press that okay so this still is too isolated and then put the system to automatic and what you can observe as well so those are all clear what you can see as well is you got the alarm in the ASE system one on the line and then we press this button to reset that okay and then we're going to put our isolating key for that thing and X and all clear so all system back to normal just for your information, in case you isolate the occupant warning system for more than 5 minutes, you're going to have this fault. To clear that fault, all you have to do is press that auto mode and that will clear the fault. Okay? And then we put the system back to normal and the grid of those is stable and that's it. We're done. All done. I hope you learned something on how to test the G3 Brook Spire indicating panel. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Elmer, your fire protection guy.